Stage 5 kidney disease, also known as end-stage renal disease, ESRD, is the most severe form of chronic kidney disease, CKD. In stage 5, the kidneys have lost nearly all of their function and are no longer able to effectively remove waste and excess fluid from the body. Individuals who are diagnosed with ESRD are in need of renal replacement therapy, such as dialysis or a kidney transplant. The estimated glomerular filtration rate, EGFR, for stage 5 kidney disease, which is a measure of how well the kidneys are functioning, is less than 15 milliliters per minute per 1.73 square meters. It is calculated based on a person's age, sex, race, and serum creatinine level, which is a waste product that the kidneys normally filter out of the blood. Causes of stage 5 chronic kidney disease the most common causes of stage 5 kidney disease include diabetes. Diabetes is the leading cause of kidney failure in the United States. High blood sugar levels can damage the blood vessels in the kidneys, leading to kidney failure. High blood pressure. High blood pressure can damage the vessels in the kidneys, leading to kidney failure. Glomerulonephritis. This is a type of kidney inflammation that can damage the kidney's filtering units, glomeruli, leading to kidney failure. Polycystic kidney disease. This is a genetic condition in which cysts form in the kidneys, leading to kidney failure. Autoimmune diseases. Conditions such as lupus nephritis and rheumatoid arthritis can cause inflammation and damage to the kidneys, leading to kidney failure. Other autoimmune diseases, such as vasculitis, good pasture syndrome, Sjogren's syndrome, and scleroderma, can cause kidney damage and potentially lead to ESRD. Obstructive uropathy. This is a blockage or obstruction in the urinary tract, which can cause urine to back up and damage the kidneys over time. Other conditions. Other conditions that can cause kidney damage and lead to ESRD include kidney stones, congenital abnormalities, and long-term use of certain medications. In some cases, stage 5 kidney disease can be hereditary. Some examples of inherited forms of ESRD are autosomal dominant polycystic kidney disease, ADPKD, Alport syndrome, which affects the structure and function of the kidney's filtering units, and Fabry disease, which causes the accumulation of certain fats in the kidneys and other organs. It's important to note, however, that not all cases of ESRD are inherited. In fact, the majority of cases are caused by other factors. Symptoms of stage 5 kidney disease may include fatigue and weakness, shortness of breath, swelling in the feet, ankles, and legs, loss of appetite, nausea and vomiting, difficulty sleeping, itching and dry skin, muscle cramps and twitches, cognitive impairment and difficulty concentrating. Treatment for stage 5 kidney disease. The two main treatments for stage 5 kidney disease are dialysis and kidney transplantation. Dialysis. Dialysis is a procedure that removes waste and excess fluid from the blood when the kidneys are no longer able to perform this function. There are two types of dialysis, hemodialysis and peritoneal dialysis. Hemodialysis involves using a machine to filter the blood outside of the body, while peritoneal dialysis involves using the lining of the abdomen to filter the blood. Hemodialysis is typically performed at a dialysis center or hospital, while peritoneal dialysis can be done at home. In summary, dialysis is usually used when the kidneys have lost most of their function and can no longer effectively remove waste and excess fluid from the body. The decision to start dialysis is based on a variety of factors, including a patient's overall health, the severity of their kidney disease, and the presence of symptoms and complications. The type of dialysis used will depend on various factors, including the patient's age, overall health, and personal preferences. Kidney transplantation. 
A kidney transplant involves surgically placing a healthy kidney from a donor into the patient's body to replace the failed kidneys. This is the preferred treatment for patients with stage 5 kidney disease, as it can provide a more normal quality of life compared to dialysis. Prevention of stage 5 kidney disease includes Managing chronic conditions Managing chronic conditions such as diabetes and high blood pressure can help prevent kidney damage and progression to stage 5 kidney disease. Maintaining a healthy lifestyle Eating a healthy diet Maintaining a healthy weight, exercising regularly, and avoiding smoking can prevent kidney disease. Regular health screenings. Regular health screenings can help detect kidney disease early before it progresses to stage 5. The prognosis for stage 5 kidney failure varies depending on the underlying cause, the patient's age, overall health, and other medical conditions. However, in general, the outlook for stage 5 kidney failure is less optimistic than earlier stages of CKD. Patients with stage 5 kidney failure are at higher risk of developing complications such as infections, heart disease, and bone disease. While stage 5 kidney disease is a serious condition, it's important to remember that there are effective treatments available to help manage the symptoms and improve quality of life. With proper medical care, many people with stage 5 kidney disease are able to lead full and active lives. Kidney transplantation, in particular, can be a life-changing treatment option for those with stage 5 kidney disease. With a successful transplant, patients can enjoy improved kidney function and increased independence from dialysis. Furthermore, Advances in medical research and technology are constantly improving the treatments available for kidney disease. Ongoing studies are exploring new treatments for kidney disease, and early detection and management of kidney disease can help to slow or even prevent the progression to stage 5. So while stage 5 kidney disease can be a daunting diagnosis, there is hope for those affected by the condition. By working closely with their healthcare team and staying informed about their treatment options, patients with stage 5 kidney disease can live full and meaningful lives. If you've gotten value out of this video, give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to the channel as this concludes our series related to kidney disease. Be sure to check out some other videos that might be relevant to what you're looking for on my channel as I'm constantly adding new content every week. Thanks.